Inside the Middle East. In association with Qatar Foundation. Welcome to Inside the Middle East. I'm Rima Maktabi and I'm here in Istanbul, one of the greatest and most unique cities in the world. More than 12 million people call this cosmopolitan metropolis home. The majority are Muslim, but Istanbul plays an important role as a social and political intermediary on world stage. Just like this famed bridge that spans the width of the Bosphorus Strait, Istanbul itself is a city connecting people from both Europe and Asia. In fact, Istanbul holds the distinction of being the only city in the world that lies on two continents. And as we cross from Asia into Europe, we can easily see the greatness of the two cultures coinciding the Asian and the European. And now this is Hagia Sophia just here behind me, which means in Greek, the Holy Wisdom. It was first an Orthodox basilica, later it became a mosque, and since 1935, it's been a museum. You can see it's quite a draw for tourists. Many who come not only to see the Byzantine architecture and famed dome, but also its intricate mosaics and impressive designs. And of course, just as impressive as the Hagia Sophia is the structure set directly across from it. It's the extraordinary Blue Mosque. Built in the early 17th century, it features some of the Byzantine elements of the neighboring Hagia Sophia along with traditional Islamic architecture. Many consider it to be one of the last great mosques of the classical period. But of course, a tour of these two great structures is only the beginning of all there is to see here in Turkey. Now, Ivan Watson shows us this new remarkable statue park in Cappadocia, which draws its inspiration from the region's earliest settlers. A burst of flame pierces the dawn. Pilots and their crews are hard at work, inflating giant balloons, a popular mode of transport for visitors to this region of Turkey known as Cappadocia. See you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Well, with a blast of uh, burning gas, we've set sail now. Uh, the best way to look at the very unique topography of Cappadocia uh, is by hot air balloon and it, it really is stunning as you can see here. The balloons rise with the sun over Cappadocia's otherworldly landscape. Thousands of years of wind and water have carved through soft lava rock creating bizarre natural formations. Humans have burrowed into these rippling walls carving out homes and even places of worship. We are in the Ainala Chapel or church. The locals say this was built in the fourth century AD. There probably was a monastery here and it's been carved, columns and everything, arches, carved right out of the volcanic rock. Nearly 17 centuries later, the religion and language may have changed, but people are still carving stone the old-fashioned way. 
This is a project that employs armies of workers, in this case, stonecutters from neighboring villages, who are carving out what will be an amphitheater that will offer visitors a commanding view of the valley. The amphitheater is the brainchild of this man. This is going to be so you can look up the valley and sit there and listen to the sounds of silence and contemplate what all of these things mean. Andrew Rogers is an Australian artist who's building a sprawling sculpture park here in the hills of Cappadocia. All of these structures and designs on the ground, which are drawings on the earth, are designed to be seen from above. This is a symbol that comes from my bronze sculpture. It's about the journey through life. And we can see the grinding wheel, which is derived from an ancient wheel in Gorome. This symbol's taken from an eight-sided Selchuk tomb on the road to Kayseri, and it's called a tree of life. Amid the massive geoglyphs are brand new stone columns that resemble the ancient Greek and Roman ruins still scattered across Turkey. That's really what you want people to think about. You want them to be confronted by the, these ruins and think about what, why they're here and how old they are and why they've been put here. So it's really to create sacred space or space for contemplation. It's taken more than a thousand people to build these sculptures. Locals admit they were baffled when Andrew Rogers first came to Cappadocia. We don't understand what they want. After when uh, uh, we have a time, we can see the different shape. It is look nice. After we can understand, I think when we are finished, we can be very happy. But now they are celebrating the artist and his vision. With a concert at the center of Rogers' modern day ruins. Locals say Cappadocia means the land of beautiful horses. They now have a giant beautiful stone horse built to withstand the test of time. Ivan Watson for Inside the Middle East, Cappadocia, Turkey. Just after the break, you'll see one charming neighborhood in Istanbul that transformed itself into the center of a thriving art scene. And in Morocco, a music festival you don't want to miss. Still ahead. <laughs> Inside the Middle East, in association with Qatar Foundation.